New Zealand block Scott Barrett was sent off as the All Blacks suffered their heaviest defeat in their history. Barrett received two yellow cards, with the second for recklessly cleaning the head of prostitute Malcolm Marks and being sent to the TMO bunker. South Africa took the lead through goals from Sia Khaleesi and Kurt Lee Arendts before second-half tries from Marks, Bungie Manambai and Quagga Smith. The All Blacks' previous record loss was 21 points in 1999 and 2019. At Pack Twickenham, Barrett picked up his first yellow card after multiple team infractions as the All Blacks struggled to contain the Springboks' relentless power play. He returned from the bin, but just before halftime attacked Marks, who was close to the ground due to a collapse, leaving referee Matthew Carley with no choice but to send him off. New Zealand have already lost experienced block Brody Retallick for their opening World Cup game against France on September 8 to injury, with Barrett becoming the first All Black to be sent off twice. Tyrell Lomax's World Cup could also be in jeopardy after the prop left the pitch early with a serious knee injury. The world champions notched back-to-back -back victories after demolition of Wales 52-16 in Cardiff last weekend, while Jacques Nienaber's side look in top form ahead of their World Cup opener against Scotland on September 10. The victory also ends New Zealand's 11-match unbeaten run as South Africa's power play, so successful during the 2019 World Cup, proved too much for the 14-man opposition. You couldn't help but be impressed with what they did, they really stuck with us, said All Blacks manager Ian Foster. Their physicality and set pieces were excellent and they played an incredible game in the scrum and lineout. That made a big difference. And then fans, what did you think of the defeat of the All Blacks? What should the team have done to avoid this historic defeat? Where did the team go? Comment below and leave your like if you were surprised by the result and circumstances of the game. But no, winning or losing we still have the biggest team in the world.